Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans, I'm Keith OneShot, and this is my dramatic reading series, and today, we will be covering Batman Issue 31, The War of Jokes and Riddles Part 7, from DC Comics. We start this story off with the Joker, asking a man who he has prisoner, A year from now, will you remember me? The man replies, Yes, I'll remember you. Then the Joker says, A week from now, will you remember me? The man replies, Yes! The Joker then says, Knock, knock! And the man replies, Who? Who's there? The Joker then yells, Who's? But I thought you said you would remember me! Then the Joker pulls out a knife and says, No, no, no! You think you can lie to me! To my face! The man then shouts, No! Then the Joker says, What do you think this is? Some sort of joke? The Joker then pulls out a knife and stabs the man to death! We then hear Bruce Wayne in the present day tell Selina Kyle, Kite Man had given us Joker's final sanctuary, the tower where it all started. We then go outside of the Joker's tower, where we see Batman and the Riddler looking up. Batman then says, Traps on the roof, the elevators, the stairwells. Can't go up, can't come from up to go down. The Riddler then says, A bomb is on a floor next to a computer, two inches away, a can of gasoline, three inches away, and a bottle of nitroglycerin, four inches away. The bomb goes off. What gets destroyed first? Then Batman answers, The bomb! And Riddler asks Batman, You have a man inside? Then Batman says, No! Not a man! And not inside! We then see that Catwoman is climbing up the side of Joker's tower. Once Catwoman reaches the top of the building, she looks in the window, then tells Batman through a comlink. Meow! Office! 73rd floor! As you said, Bat! He's stabbing a guy! Joker then sees Catwoman. Then he shouts, What? You! Then Joker reaches for his gun and shoots Catwoman, sending her falling down. As she falls, Batman yells through the comlink, Cat! Then we go to the present day, where Bruce Wayne is still telling Selina Kyle the story of the War of Jokes and Riddles. Bruce then tells Selina, the way the Joker was then, I shouldn't have. I'm sorry I put you in that position. Then Selina replies, Bat, how many times have I told you? Never apologize for a position you put me in. We then go back to where we left off in the war, where Batman shouts, Cat! Then, as she's falling down, Catwoman says, I'm here, Bat. Just give me a moment. Then, she grabs a ledge and swings herself through a lower window. Batman then says through the comlink, Cat! And Catwoman answers, The glass! He shot through the glass! There are no triggers on the glass! We then see Batman tell the Riddler, There's a way in! Through the windows! Then Batman starts walking away. The Riddler then says, And where are you going? And Batman replies, You're the Riddler! Figure it out! The Riddler then tells Batman, Please! You know I'm not letting you anywhere near the Joker! When I'm not near the Joker! I see your plans within plans, Batman! Now you ask me to come with you! Then Batman says, You should come with me! Then the Riddler replies, You? Me? The Joker? Alone? No! I don't think that would work either! For me! We go in! We bring my army! To watch the Joker and you! Disagree? And I burn the city! Then Batman says, Nigma, Think! We have to go small! How can your army get onto the 73rd floor? Through the window! The Riddler then gives Batman a funny look. Then Batman says, No! And the Riddler says, Hell yeah! We then see Kite Man on a roof, wearing a new upgraded suit. As Kite Man says, And, uh, how much do you weigh? We then see that he's talking to Killer Croc. And Croc replies, A lot! Kite Man then says, Right, but maybe a more specific figure than that. Doesn't have to be exact. Do you have sort of a general estimate? Then Croc replies, A lot more than a kite can carry. Then Kite Man says, well, you might be surprised what a kite can carry. We then see Batman, Kite Man, the Riddler and his army, flying through the sky, all in kites, towards the Joker's tower. We then see the Joker, cutting the arm of the man from earlier. Then the Joker says, Why did he, why did the man, toss a throw, throw his clock? Why did the man throw his watch, through the window? Then, he throws the man's arm out of the window and says, Why did the man, throw his watch out the window? He wanted to see time fly. Then, the Joker turns around, and we see the Riddler, flying his kite through the sky, aimed right at the Joker. Then suddenly, we see everyone on their kites, crash through the window. Then Riddler says, knock knock, and the Joker replies, who's there? Then the Riddler says, cows go, and Joker replies, cows go who? The Riddler then says, no you, what was it? You twit, cows go moo. What, isn't it funny? Shouldn't you be laughing? The Joker then leaps at the Riddler in a mad rage, but the Riddler is quick to counter his attack. Then the Riddler says, I'm so sorry, I probably told it wrong. You see, jokes just aren't my thing. Then the Riddler punches the Joker in the face. Then the Riddler says, how about a riddle instead? You're running a race, and you pass the person in second place. What place are you in now? Then the Riddler kicks the Joker in the face and says, well, you didn't pass the person in first place, so you're in second. 
You're in second place! You are always in second place! We then see Batman put his hand on the Riddler's shoulder. Then Batman says, Enough! It's over! The Riddler and his army then turn to Batman, and the Riddler says, Yes, you're quite right. It certainly is over. Right, friends? The Riddler and his army are all ready to strike and kill Batman. Then the Riddler says, Little Tommy is dead. A metal bar is on his back. There's a bit of food on his lips. What happened? Little Tommy is nothing but a little mouse caught in a trap. Batman then smiles, turns around and says, Kite Man! Then Kite Man presses a button on the gadget as he says, Kite Man! Then suddenly, all of the Riddler's army is sent flying in reverse out of the windows, leaving Batman, Kite Man, the Riddler, and the Joker all alone in the tower. We then go to the present day, where Bruce Wayne is telling Selina Kyle he'd given them their packs, made minor adjustments to Firefly's armor to compensate for the wind, jet propelled in first parachutes. Chuck Brown's own invention. Instead of slowing your fall, they quicken your ascent. I had Alfred in the Bat Blimp, waiting just high enough that they'd all be passed out when he gathered them. We then go back to Joker's Tower during the war. The Riddler turns around and says, Kite Man! Then Batman says, Plans within plans. Then Kite Man tells Riddler, You took my boy, so I took your war. The Riddler is still shocked and confused by all of this, as he says again, Kite Man! Then Kite Man replies, Hell yeah! Then the Riddler cracks Kite Man in the face with a punch as he shouts, Oh, shut the hell up! We then see the Joker start to stand up. Then he says, My wife. She asked me what I was doing today. I said nothing. She said, You did that yesterday. I said I wasn't finished. Then, as Joker stands up, him, the Riddler, and Batman all confront each other, ready to fight, ready to end this war. We then go back to the present day, where Bruce Wayne is telling Selina Kyle what happened next when it was just us. No one. No one but the insane know what happened next. But I have to tell you. You have to know, Cat. Because then you'll know me, who I am, and then you can decide if I'm worth your life, your love, if you can forgive me, if you can marry me. And that ends today's story. Comic published by DC Comics. All rights, story, art, and characters belong to DC Comics and their respective owners. Not me. This has been Batman Issue 31, The War of Jokes and Riddles, Part 7. And I'm your host, Keith OneShot. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of my Comic Complete Dramatic Reading Series. And support DC Comics by picking up a copy of the Trades and Single Issue Comics. Support your local comic book shop, take care, and have a great day. Goodbye!